eliminate the enemy. What's going on, it's Fist? Bring another great edition of Call of Duty for me to you, because that's what I do. World War II beta has just concluded over the weekend. I must say, I've played it from Thursday all the way until Monday, until 2 o'clock, or Central Time when it stopped. A lot of people hated this game, didn't like this game. I can't cover everything in the six minute video, but I thankfully thankfully for me and you, we could talk about it all week. I'll try to post a video every day so we could talk about this 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 Call of Duty. I think has the potential. Call of Duty World War II, boots on the ground. I think it has the potential to be the third best Call of Duty ever made. In the beginning, I was probably like most people. I didn't like this game. I thought it was you know, it's been three years of jetpacking. I thought that was bad for the community. I thought, you know, look, there's a whole generation that grew up on jetpacking, and that's the ne next generation. In the I thought that was the direction that we should be going in. We should keep advancing, moving forward. Don't look back in the rearview mirror. But the powers to be, I don't know why they made the decision to go back to boots on the ground. I'm totally fine with it. I just didn't want it to be like Modern Warfare Remastered, Call of Duty 4, Time to Kill in 2 Seconds, stuff like that. It really turned me off. Would I like to have, a, would I like to have had a modern shooter? Sure, I think most of us would have. But I think we're doing a, I think what was happening here is Call of Duty Activision is doing a reset. We're going to start with World War II, we're going to work through a bunch of conflicts, and eventually we'll wind up at Nuclear War 3, whatever it is, World War 3 something in the future and I could be totally wrong and Black Ops 4 jetpacking bouncing wall stuff you know I to be honest with you I think Black Ops 3 is the best Call of Duty ever made it was a great balance between boots on the ground and and advancing the game itself Call of Duty into the future as it, as it should and what it should be and I think that is the most important thing is taking a, a creation and moving it along that is acceptable that everybody loves to play. Now, Sledgehammer is completely new to the Call of Duty franchise. I mean, comparative to Infinity Ward and Prayer. I think this is Sledgehammer's best Call of Duty that they've made. I mean, I haven't even begun to talk about the, the weapons, the setups, the divisions, the perks. We're going to get into that later this week. But I think we need to establish the premise that if you're a Call of Duty veteran or you're new to, new to Call of Duty, is that we, we need to bring everybody back into the fold. We need to bring everybody back onto one Call of Duty game. And I think this is the game that has the potential to do that. I mean, what I really like about this game the most, I mean, in the beginning I didn't like it because I didn't feel like, I felt like, okay, there were things that didn't make sense to me. Like um, strafing and moving left to right and stalker and, and you know you know you guys know what I'm talking about when you're moving right to left shooting your gun aiming at a target all those things they divided into character classes like divisions and the ribbon perks and the weapons and you have to read all that stuff to put all that together to get your character to ADS and shoot and do all the things that you're used to in all of the other Call of Duties. Then, I'm just covering this in a nutshell as to how I see it. And, and it took me a minute to understand a lot of things and to get it. But you know, you gotta start with a certain class, a division, and, and it has to build from there. And I think just a lot of EXP, you need, you're gonna need time you're going to need time to play this game to understand more of how to put all those things together to make your character play the way you want him to play. And that's the fun part about this. I think this, this game has so much potential to be lightning in a bottle that I don't think Sledgehammer and the developers know what they have. And, and for people to start changing things and talking about nerfing and killing this and doing that, I mean, we have to give this game a chance to see what it's going to be because the thing is, is that odd, quirky things in the game are what make you love a game. Discovering things and not taking them out and they're being part of the game. 
So I don't want to go into all that. Like I said, we're going to get into all of that. It's just, it's so awesome that I hated this game. And then I understood that this is a game with a bunch of gems and nuggets and diamonds. And you have to dig for them. And, and if you're a true Call of Duty fan, you will love those things. It's just not one of those games that are, it's ridiculous and it doesn't make sense. There, that's the thing about this game. There's tons of stuff in this game that when you discover it, you'll be like, aha! You'll have that aha moment, and then when you put two and two together and it equals four, you'll really appreciate it and enjoy playing the game. And I think that's, and I think they didn't even realize that, and that's, what's, that's what you're going to capture in this game. So... Uh, I'm excited because, like I said, I didn't like the game in the beginning, and I think they 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 hit a home run on the sound. The sound is amazing. These weapons, I mean, it's been, this is like ten years the first time that these weapons have been manly enough to enjoy. They're, they're awesome. And then on top of that, I want to point out the number one biggest improvement in the Call of Duty history franchise. Period is the fact that they have a grenade indicator that tells you if you're too close and it's red you're probably gonna get killed if it's black you're probably not gonna get killed they finally have a grenade indicator to tell you get the hell out of there i mean i have you know how many times i had a grenade on the other side of the wall and there was an enemy in front of me and i didn't have to jump and i jumped and i died so we're going to talk about so much more if there's anything you want to know about the game please leave messages below in the description or i mean in the messages uh in the questions anyways till next time it's boy fizz peace i'm out